application for a simply supported W310 by 97 is used as beam. Assume full lateral bracing and that F sub Y equals 345 megapascal. Which of the following most nearly gives the LRFD lateral capacity of the section for the limit states of yielding and lateral dorsal backlink? Let us check if the section is compact. So although it is already indicated in the problem, what limit states are we going to investigate? So let us check first the compactness of the section. We check the compactness of the flange. When checking the compactness of the flange, we are comparing the lambda to lambda sub P. Okay? Lambda is B sub F over 2T sub F while lambda sub p is 0 0.38 square root of e over fy. Okay, so let us substitute. bf is 305, and then t sub f is 15.4. So we compare that with lambda sub p. This is 0 0.38 square root of 200,000 over 345. Okay, so let us compute for lambda. That is 305 divided by 15.4. That is 9.902597403. And then 0 0.38 square root of 200,000 over 345. And this is 9.1493243. Okay? So as you can see, lambda is greater than lambda sub p. So let us check for the other comparison, which is the lambda sub r. This is 1.0 square root of e over fy. That is 24.07. Okay? So if we're going to evaluate the value of the lambda, the value of the lambda is greater than the value of lambda sub p, but it is less than the value of lambda sub r. So if lambda falls into this category, it means that the element is non-compact. Okay, so therefore we conclude that the flange is non-compact. Okay, so let us also check for the web. We have the same procedure. We compare lambda to lambda sub p. So the lambda for the web is h over e sub w, and lambda sub p is 3.76 square root of e over f1. Okay? For h, that is determined by subtracting 2k des from the overall depth, and then divide by t sub w. So we substitute the values of 200,000 over 345. And then for this one, we substitute D, that is 307 minus 2K des. K des is equal to 30.5 millimeter divided by T sub W. Okay, so let's compute for the value of lambda sub P. This is 90.53, and then the value of the lambda is 24.82. Okay, so let us compare the two values. So as you can see, lambda is less than lambda sub p. So we therefore conclude that the web is compact. If we have a web that is compact and we have a flange that is non-compact, the limit states that we should be investigating are lateral torsional backlink, and flange local backlink. Okay? When determining the nominal moment strength of the section, so we will only consider these two limit states. For the first question, we have to follow what is being asked. So we are asked to determine the LRF deflectional capacity based on yielding and lateral torsional backlink. Okay? So based on yielding limit states, the nominal moment strength of a section is equal to that of its plastic moment, okay, which is Fy times Zx. So we can easily compute for this one since Z sub x is already given. So we have 345 
times z sub x which is 1590 times 10 cube and this is equal to so that is 548-550-000 newton mm. In kilonewton meter, this is simply 548.55 kilonewton meter. So for the LRFD capacity, we multiply this by the reduction factor, which is 0.9, or the resistance factor. This is now equal to 493.695 kilonewton meter. Okay, next, for LTB, or lateral torsional buckling, the capacity based on lateral torsional buckling is dependent on its unbraced length. So based on the problem, we have to assume full lateral bracing. So the problem says that we will assume full lateral bracing. So if that is the case, the unbraced length is zero, and we fall onto the category which is L sub B is less than L sub P. So this means that L P B does not apply. So we only have the yielding limit state as the basis for the nominal strength, as well as the LRFD flexural capacity. Therefore, our answer for this problem is 493.65 kilonewton meter, and the nearest to that is letter E. Number two, which of the following mode nearly gives the LRFD flexural capacity of the section? So previously, we have determined that the limit states to be investigated if we have a non-compact flange are LTB and flange local backlane. Since we are going to assume full lateral bracing, L sub B equals zero, so LTB does not apply. So meaning we are only left with flange local backlink as the basis for the LRFD flexural capacity. So take note that we don't need to solve for the yielding limit state if we have a non-compact flange. It's just that in the previous problem, the problem requires us to solve for the yielding limit state. So for the flange local backlink, its formula is if we have a non-compact flange, the formula for the nominal moment strength is m sub n equals m sub p minus m sub p minus 0 0.7 fy sx times lambda minus lambda sub p over lambda sub r minus lambda sub p okay so that so take note that we have a non-compact flange so these lambdas are referring to the lambdas of the flange let us put a subscript f so that we will not be confused so take note that we have already computed these lambdas previously. Lambda sub f is 9.90. Lambda sub p f is 9.14. And lastly, lambda sub r f is 24.077. Okay, so let us substitute these values in our formula. So let us compute this one by one so that we will not be confused. First, we compute these ratios of lambda. So we have lambda sub f minus lambda sub pf over lambda sub rf minus lambda sub pf. Okay, so let us compute for that one. We have Zero point zero five zero four six zero nine zero two three three, and then let's compute for MP minus point seven FYSX. So MP minus zero point seven FYSX. M sub P is three hundred forty five times the C sub X minus zero point seven of FY times SX. Okay, so the value of this one is, so I store the previous computed value to B, and then let us compute for this M sub P minus 0 0.7 FYSX. We have P45 times 159P minus 0 0.7 times 345 times 1440 times 10 cube. So this is 2790000. 
Okay, so we can now compute for the nominal moment strength that is MP. Take note that we have already computed MP before that is 548.55.55 times 10 to the 6 minus MP minus 0.7 FYSX times the ratios of the lambdas which is 0 0.05 0460 okay therefore the nominal moment strength equals that is 5384179554 okay so this is the nominal moment strength so for the LRFD capacity, we just multiply this by the resistance factor 0 0.9. Okay, for the units, this should be Newton mm. So in kilonewton meter, that is 538.42 or 4179554 kilonewton meter. Okay, so we multiply that to 0 0.9. The moment capacity is. 484.5761599 kilonewton meter. Okay? And that is letter A.